Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing, well, we're discussing the tourism sector here in Thailand. The reason I decided to make this video, I was reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, that's bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Dropping of Test and Go Scheme Expected to Boost Tourism Sector in Pattaya. And really good article, a lot of information in there. Again, bangkokpost.com. But this just quick sentence I thought was really interesting. The country's tourism sector has struggled for two years due to the pandemic. A couple of things there. First off, due to the pandemic or due to the government's response to the pandemic? Let's, let's clarify that one first. Because a virus in and of itself doesn't make you know, immigration policy, doesn't set tourism policy, doesn't impose lockdowns. You know, it doesn't do that. People do that. So let's set that aside. But struggled, that was the one that I thought was interesting. Struggled, it, it, it's more like decimated. We did a video, I think back in January of 2022, this year, where we were looking at, it, it was from the Bangkok Post, they were talking about the tourism numbers, and literally it was decimated. You know, it was one-tenth of the, you know, if, if, Thailand's GDP had been 18, I think it was 18% of overall GDP was made up by tourism. It had gone down to like 1.8 or 2%, you know, decimated, down to one-tenth of what it once was. So to say that the tourism sector is struggling is an understatement that's so vast it's almost insulting to the tourism industry. And I'm not calling out the Bangkok Post or anything. I, you know, we use the words we use, sometimes we just say what we think at the time, but, you know, Thailand's tourism sector has basically been put on life support, put into a coma, and we need to get it out of there, truly. And I credit where credit is due. The government is moving in that direction, but we, we need to keep moving in that direction. Frankly, we need to move, my opinion, with a little more alacrity. So hopefully over this summer, we will start seeing things move more in that direction and we will start seeing things move in such a way that that we see basically all these restrictions removed and we start seeing some real numbers coming in in late 2022 and early 2023.